hopefully going to make the good relationship uh, for the long time. I heard that you're a ice hockey champion. Yeah, I played in Ladakh two years ago. You know. This has become an express need everywhere in the world. We have to come together as one humanity and act because as a generation, we have this responsibility for future generations. Let's do it together. I think this is the only way right now. Namaskaram, good, good afternoon, which is love. Namaskaram to you. Hey, good afternoon, uh, Sadhguru. And it's a uh, huge <laughs> yeah, to see you, to speak to you. And uh, hopefully you're going to make the good relationship uh, for the long time. Definitely. And uh, well, uh, I heard that you're a ice hockey champion, huh? <laughs> That's nice. Yes, I played 23 professional seasons, uh, 1,812 games. I played in Ladakh two years ago in... Uh, oh, really? Uh, 4,000 meters up high. Mm -hmm. I play against the uh, uh, people who love the game more than anybody, you know. They play in uh, tough conditions, but this was uh, a great experience. I remember this uh, uh, until the rest of my life, you know. It was very warm welcome and I uh, see a lot of people and I very tough condition, living condition, you know, is uh, uh, figure out how to uh, to live. And I uh, brought home, you know, Mahatma Gandhi saying, you know, it's uh, live simply just to, to simply live. It was, uh, for me, it's kind of you know, new approach to the life. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, we just love you, have heard about the Safe Soil Movement. And uh, this has become an express need everywhere in the world. When it comes to soil, the most important thing is we need to look beyond uh, race, religion, nationality, everything because the planet doesn't know which nationality we are, <laughs> which religion we are, which race we are. Planet only knows that uh, it has thrown us out as pop-ups and it will suck us back. It is just that the time that we are here, does not become a super destructive process. That is something that human beings have necessary intelligence to attend to, but unfortunately we have not in competition with each other, we've done this. But uh, we still have time, in the next fifteen years time, if we do the right things, we can turn this around. So we have created a policy document, hundreds of ways in which uh, one can regenerate the soil, depending upon latitudinal positions, uh, regions in which we exist and the soil types and also, of course, the local agricultural traditions. You are using all this, how we can transform or regenerate the soil. And uh, United Nations agencies are working with us. We have a strong partnership with UNCCD, which is uh, about combating desertification and also World Food Program. And uh, UNEP, of course, and uh, Eric is a dear friend. I heard that uh, both of you have worked together on things. And uh, I'm glad to hear that uh, you are part of the environment committees. The most important thing is human beings thinking that there is us and there is uh, ecology and environment. No, we are part of the ecology. It is just that our capabilities and our competence is being used very compulsively and irresponsibly. That's the only problem. The same capabilities could be used in a very productive and wonderful way. So, essentially, to bring this home to people that soil is not a commodity, soil is a living entity and we need to bring it into our policies to see that next generation has living soil, because soil is not our property. It's a legacy that's come to us and we must pass it on that way to our children, because every responsible scientist in the world is pointing out by 2045, we'll be producing forty percent less food and our populations will be around 9.2 billion people. That's not a world in which you would want to live, that's not a world where we want to leave our children. So this is the right moment to turn this around. And uh, yeah, I got a uh, huge experience as a hockey player, I played in the United States for fourteen years. I got uh, uh, many friends around the world and of course uh, we... Uh, try to bring uh, on our side uh, as much as we could, you know, it's uh, uh, world-famous names, you know, to 
promoting to proclaiming what you said you know it's uh, 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 climate ecology uh, biodiversity doesn't have you know it's uh, color of the skin uh, national uh, nationality and everything regarding you know it's uh, the, the planet as a uh, our uh, home for all and of course you know it's uh, uh, I'll do anything in my power to uh, uh, to start uh, thinking about you know it's uh, uh, future, not about, you know, it's today uh, problems. But just love the thing is, uh, you know, from March 21st, uh, as a lone motorcyclist, I'm riding from London, and most of the governments we've spoken to, almost everybody is willing. In Europe, already policy changes are happening. In Arabia, we have MOUs. In Caribbean islands, we have, uh, mem you know, memorandum of understanding with various governments. But your support and your uh, strong stand that Soil is an important part of climate change, will be very important. One important thing we are trying to do is shift the narrative towards soil, because uh, one thing is, it is affecting our life because literally all that we know as life, whether it is plant life or bacteria or uh, worms or insects or birds or animals or human beings, we all come from the soil. Soil is the magic out here on this planet. Or in this universe, the only magical thing in the world, in the universe is soil, because this is the only place where even if you put death into it, it sprouts back enormous amount of life. There is no other place like this. So we want to shift the narrative towards soil. These 100 days from March 21st, uh, for 100 days, we want the whole world to talk about soil. The conversation should move because in the COP26 that recently concluded in Glasgow, some of the environment ministers who went there, I met them, and I was asking them, okay, what about soil, what are we doing? They said in one week that we was, were there, we did not hear the word soil. How can you address climate change or global warming without addressing soil? It is the open soil, seventy percent of the land on the planet is ploughed and open, it's either paved or ploughed. This is a serious issue. We have to address this. Traditional farming always is conscious about it and did the right things, but in the last fifty to seventy years' time, we were completely forgotten. So, bringing this back is not going to be very expensive. It is not against anybody. This is not against fertilizer companies. This is not against pesticide companies. This is not against anybody. This is one thing where we should not be against each other. We have to come together as one humanity and act because as a generation, we have this responsibility for future generations. So this is what the movement is about. We look forward to your support. Today, a football player can reach 500 million people. So when that is a case, this is the best time to get this message across to the world. Never before was this possible. Now there is technology and there's a possibility that we can activate the world. Because now what we are moving towards is, we want to move at least 3.5 billion people to understand that soil is a huge concern. Because right now, in all this conversation, soil is taking a minor space when actually it is the elephant in the room. So we want to bring that perspective to the people, we want to move at least 3.5 billion people, your support and cooperation will be most vital. Sorry, I want to mention something, can I... It's, uh, Please. Uh, what you, you, you're doing now to to spend your time and, uh, and uh, life to, to, to educate, to send the message, to, to uh, aware the people about what's, uh, what's the most important uh, for the future of their children and grandchildren. And of course, you know, it's... Uh, for me, it's, uh, again, you know, it's a big, big honor to, 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 to talk to you about, you know, it's uh, uh, same issues. Of course, you know, you're going to build a strong team. We're going to uh, support each other, and uh, of course, you know, it's, uh, uh, we're going to win together, not uh, 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 separately. This is the, you know, it's my strong belief, and I'm a team player, I know it's uh, anything possible if you believe, if you got the strategic plan, and uh, uh, you got the leadership. Thank you very much, uh, and I'm also addressing the COP15 in Ivory Coast in the month of May. 170 nations are participating, this is by the UNCCD. We are... Uh, we have a strong partnership with the UN Agency for Combating Desertification. So there the soil agenda is on, and I am also uh, making soil a big agenda in the World Economic Forum. 
in the month of May, that also I will be there also. Hope to catch up with you in these meetings and I very much look forward to your support and uh, congratulations on all the Olympic medals and stuff. I know it's late <laughs> but <laughs> wonderful. And especially during the Olympic Games right now. And we keep a close contact with Eric Solheim, you know, he's a good friend of mine. And uh, I'm, uh, uh, couldn't start thank him for what uh, he's involved me, uh, invite me to the, the program and uh, give me an uh, ambassador uh, position in uh, UNEP. And of course, you know, it's, uh, uh, I'll never forget this. And uh, of course, you know, we keep in contact. He's, uh, very wise man and uh, yeah, it's understand what's going on. It's, uh, our, our... it's our commitment that in our lifetime, we should repair whatever we can uh, and it's possible to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it together. I think this is the only way right now. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time and we look forward to this association. Bye-bye. Okay,